Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma, and today we are going to remember all the examples of the plant kingdom with the help of the tricks, of course. So watch this video till the end. Please take a note of these tricks, and yes, do hit the like button. And if you're new to our channel, you know what you have to do. You have to subscribe our channel. Please support us. Now, in the case of plants, we know that we are going to talk about the algae, bryophyte, pteridophyte, gymnosperms and the angiosperms. So, to start with the algae, the simplest plant in which we talk about three classes, chlorophyce, pheophyce, rhodophyce. Chlorophyce, pheophyce, rhodophyce, chlorophyce, chlorophyll green color it is just like the higher plants right so it is believed that higher plants they arise from the green algae so when you talk about the chlorophyce the chlorophyll a and b is there like the higher plants pheophyce brown algae a c rhodophyce d d from this d this is what you need to remember that it will have the d chlorophyll d so a is the universal chlorophyll present in all the photosynthetic organism so chlorophyce other than A, chlorophyll B is there, pheophyce C, rhodophyce D, D, D is there, right? Now, when you talk about the tricks for the class chlorophyce, so it's SUV, SUV, chal, kara, SUV, chal, kara. I'm repeating it again, SUV, chal, kara. So, S, S stands for spirogyra, the filamentous algae, U stands for eulothrix, Again, the filamentous algae. V stands for volvox, colonial algae. Right, CHL, chlamydomonas. And then comes the cara, again the green algae. And many times question used to come from this cara, right? Right, the, the question can come from the diagram and from the position of the ugonium and the enteridium. So here we have the trick for the green algae, SUV, chal, cara. So remember the examples. And please note down which one is isogamous, which one is anisogamous. And I will, you know, share one more video where I will provide you the trick for the same as well. Now, come to the pheophyce. Pheophyce means brown algae. So here the trick is very simple. It's self DP, right? DP, display picture. So self DP. S stands for sargasm. E stands for ectocarpus. L stands for laminaria. F stands for fucus, DP, dictyota, and P stands for pheophyce. So these are the tricks for the brown algae. So here, this is what you need to remember. When you talk about the fucus, fucus is a diplontic algae, right? Generally in algae, the life cycle is haplodiplontic. But when you talk about the fucus, the algae having air bladder, here the life cycle is Diplontic and in the case of Actocarpus, it is going to be haplodiplontic. So, do remember these exceptions. I will share the video on that too. Now, D stands for Dictyota, P stands for Pheophyce. Now, come to the Rhodophyce, red algae having no motile structure in the life, uh, life cycle. So, Rhodophyce, uh, the trick is P2G2. It's very simple P2G2, Porphyra, Polysiphonia. Porphyra, Polysiphonia, G, Gelidium, G, Gracilaria. So these are two algae from where the agar is obtained, right? So this is what you need to remember. So Porphyra, Laminaria, Sargasm, they all are edible algae. Now, the next part, Bryophytes. After algae, Bryophytes, the amphibians of plant kingdom. And here, we are going to talk about the example. So here you guys can see my first place secure. This is the trick. It's very simple. My first place secure. So you just need to revise these tricks again and again. So when it comes to the M, it is Marcantia, right? It's a liverwort and it is dioecious. It's a very commonly asked question. It's dioecious. My first place, first place. So Funaria, it's Funaria. P stands for polytrichum here, which is also known as hair cap moss. And then comes the secure. S stands for sphagnum, peat moss. From the sphagnum, peat is obtained having water retention capacity and that acts like a fuel. It's a repeated MCQ for the NEET examination. And here from the secure, S for sphagnum, R for rixia. Rixia is again, right? Rixia is again the example of the bryophyte. So here you guys can revise the trick. My first place secure. My first place secure. And bryophytes are having haplodiplontic life cycle. Then comes the pteridophytes. The trick here is please tero. What is the trick here? Please, tarot. Please. Right. You know that while typing, 
right uh, during our whatsapp chats and all we use it as pls so same you have to do so p stands for xylopsida l stands for lycopsida because in pteridophytes there are classes also which are given in ncrt so we have to remember it like this so it's please tero p stands for xylopsida l stands for lycopsida s stands for sphenopsida tero teris teropsida teropsida so it's very easy tero teropsida tero teropsida and examples are also like this teris trioteris edientum teris dioteris edientum right teris dioteris edientum so please tero pad please tero pad please tero pad so p for teris a for edientum d for dioteris so it's please tero pad clear so xylopsida lycopsida sphenopsida so xylopsida as the name is there xylopsida xylotum lycopsida lycopodium and one more is there selaginella so when you will revise you will remember it and then comes the sphenopsida here the example is equisetum right horse tail like equisetum this is the trick for the pteridophytes now pteridophytes are also having haplodiplontic life cycle but the main plant body is sporophytic right right and even gametophytic is independent here and another trick here is he sisa he sisa he stands for heterosporous se selaginella and salvinia so these are the examples of the pteridophytes where two different type of spores are there so i'm repeating this trick a uh, trick he sisa he sisa he means heterosporous c means selaginella sa means salvinia so this is how you have to remember it and now the gymnosperms where the trick is go students please check up the plantic life cycle is there g stands for ginkgo which is the living fossil s stands for sequoia which is the tallest tree not just the tallest gymnosperm tallest tree red giant wood it is please pinus c cycus and c again here is cedrus and when you talk about the angiosperms flowering plants you know that we have so many examples so that's all about the tricks right of the plant kingdom do watch this video again and again and revise the examples like this i'll come up with more trick videos so do like do share do subscribe and you know what you have to do you have to put it in the comment section and one more thing students and for such amazing lectures please join our neat energized batch right just yes here you guys can see so you guys can join our neat energized bar just go to our channel go to our channel check any video in the description box you people will get the link click there add your number add your email id and you will be the part of this batch so take care stay tuned all the best thank you